Hello everyone, welcome to another CSS tutorial. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at how to achieve full width backgrounds with fixed width content. Now the technique that I'm going to show you is very simple. However, if you're just starting out with web layouts and CSS and you've never done this before, you might not have thought of this technique and it really helps to see it in action. So let's dive right in. Now right now we're looking at the finished product. This already has full width backgrounds with fixed width content. So let's take a look at what you're more likely to have going. Okay, so here we have full width backgrounds. The problem is that our content inside each div is also acting as full width. And this results in line lengths of text that are too long for the human eye to comfortably read. So we want the text to only be about this wide or so, just for the purposes of this video. So let's take a look at the code that's making up our page. Our markup is simply three divs, div class intro, div class middle, and div class closing. And we've given them background colors and borders. Now remember, our goal was to have the content not take up the full width of the browser. So we might try something along the lines of on the intro element, say width 700 pixels and margin auto to center it. Now if we refresh, we see that, okay, that worked for the text. Now if we re resize our browser, the text will stay at a reasonable line length for the human eye to read. Uh, however, we've lost our full width background colors. So let's remove those two lines of code we just added it's actually going to require a bit of extra markup. Now this is the, the method that I recommend. So let's do it first to the intro div. We're going to add a div with a class of inner and it's going to start nestled right inside the start tag of the intro div and then the end tag for it is going to end right before the end tag of the parent div. So we've sort of doubled up. It's sort of a, a sandwich with, with two pairs of bread. Okay, and then we'll write a new rule, div inner, and this is the div that we will assign a width of 700 pixels, and we will center it. Oops. Okay, so now if we refresh, we see that we've achieved what we wanted. We have full width, no matter how large or small we resize the browser window, we have full width background colors or background images if we so choose to go that route. And our text stays at a reasonable line length. So let's go ahead and just do this really quickly to the other two divs. Div class inner, close it. Div class inner, and close it. And if we refresh, we see that voila. This is a very useful technique to have up your sleeve. There are a lot of instances where you're going to want to have full width background or full width containers mixed with fixed width interior content. Especially with the way the web is heading with mobile devices and tablets, there are a lot of interesting things going on with viewport width and viewport size. I'll actually be releasing a few videos in the near future on media queries. And we'll be, we'll be doing all sorts of neat things. Uh, for example, just in this video, if we reduce the size of our browser window to be less than the 700 pixels width we described, all of a sudden now we see there's a horizontal scroll bar. And that's a bit undesirable. Um, for, the, for, for the purposes of this video, I just wanted to get you familiar with mixing full browser width with fixed width uh, because it really leads well into some more advanced topics. So that's going to close out this video. I hope you feel like you learned something. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.